Okay, this is my how to check oil level presentation by Kate Coyle. It's me. Um, so when you're checking your oil level, um, when checking it, it should always be between the add and the full line. The add is the very bottom dot. So like on this one, it's a dot. On some, there's lines. Um, add is the very bottom, full is the very top. You want it to be either at the full line, exactly, or maybe a little bit below that, kind of in between. You never want it above the full or below the add line. And this is full on the dipstick, and that is add on the dipstick. Um, from the diagram that was given me, given to me in the assignment, these are all of the different points. A was the engine uh, oil filler cap. B was the brake fluid reservoir. C is the windshield washer reservoir. D is engine coolant reservoir. E is engine oil dipstick, and F is the battery. Um, some safety tips to recognize: when checking oil, you should always get the vehicle to running temperatures. Um, this assures a better reading, but the oil may be hot, so you should always be careful when checking any fluids as the hot temperatures may burn your skin. So when you're checking it, if you're changing the oil at hot temperatures or even checking it on a dipstick and doing it on your hands, you should be wearing some latex gloves just to help a little bit. And it also keeps your hands clean. And then something people don't usually think about is sometimes they have to, if they've got a big truck or something like that, they have to really get into the engine bay and really lean over. And sometimes the cooling fan that is connected to the fan clutch sometimes is exposed. Like for my truck example, if I was lean over and I had a sweater on, like long sweater strings like these, they could get caught into that fan and it could be dangerous. So just be careful with all this running fan, the belts and everything that runs sometimes in front of the engine oil dipstick. Sometimes it's out of the way, but when it's all running there, be careful of the clothes you're wearing and make sure that nothing gets caught in those. It could be potentially dangerous. Yeah. And important things to note, um, during an oil check, you should always check to see your oil quality. Is it dirty? Is it low? Is it high? What does it smell like? Does it smell like gasoline? Do you got a leak in there? Um, those are something really important to look at. So for this picture, for example, over here, you can see that it's low level because it's below the ad line and it's also dirty because the oil is just black. That's not good. You don't want black oil. And oil checks should always be done at running temperatures, like I said in the last one. Um, this, this kind of makes the oil check more accurate because your oil is flowing and it, sometimes it, like if it's cold, it's all in the oil pan and it could be higher than it actually is or it all could not be in the oil pan, it could be lower than it actually is. So just having it running gives you more accurate, more accurate test. And this is the step-by-step -step process that you should check oil from. Number one, you should locate your dipstick. Uh, two, move the dipstick, wipe it clean, and then put it back in to take an actual accurate oil level reading. Check the condition of the oil. Uh, think about adjusting your oil if needed, if it needs to be more added or more down. Always think about checking it. And think about check or just redoing your oil, completely flushing it and putting your stuff in if it's dirty. And maybe if you think you didn't get an accurate look, you might want to recheck it and re go through the step process twice or maybe three times just to see if it's about the same level every time so it's not different every time because it could flush away like that. Uh, but after all these six steps come, in my opinion, number step, step zero is always make sure the vehicles are running temperatures. And then I, didn't, I only used two or three pictures but I got them from these two websites. Um, those were where I got my pictures, they were whole articles on oil checks and oil changes and things like that. But yeah, that is, that is my how to check oil presentation.